Meanwhile, there's growing pressure on Russian journalists in Ukraine, and there have been numerous reports of detention, deportation, threats, and physical violence. It's got so bad that major TV networks are now urging international organizations to step in. Artizarina Galushko has the details. Well, it's an open letter, essentially, from the heads of Russian uh, top TV corporations, including RT, and they're turning to human rights groups, asking them to pay attention and protect uh, the rights, the professional rights of journalists uh, working in Ukraine. Well, over the past uh, weeks, we've seen an increasing number of uh, um, intimidations, arrests, even beatings at times uh, directed uh, primarily at Russian journalists uh, trying to work in Ukraine. Now, just to give you an example of what has, has happened in Ukraine, uh, there has been an incident just on Friday with a crew from a Life News uh, TV network. They were arrested and are now being deported under the premise that they pose a threat to Ukraine's security and integrity. A producer from an NTV uh, news channel is still being held in custody. The officials are saying that he uh, had some undeclared filming equipment on him. As far as we know, it was a small handheld camera. Another correspondent from a Life News channel just last week, while covering an attempt by protesters to storm a military base in the town of Mariupol was arrested and then beaten. Over the past seconds, a month and a half, dozens of journalists from various uh, Russian media outlets, and we're not talking just about the state, uh, state-owned uh, uh, media outlets, we're talking about independent newspapers and uh, TV channels as well. They have been prevented from actually coming into Ukraine. Uh, we cannot just say that it's being directed only against Russian journalists. An American uh, journalist, uh, Simon Ostrovsky, has been detained for three days by anti-Kiev protesters, but he now has been released. We're already seeing reactions from some of the international uh, media watchdogs. For example, uh, the OEC representative on the freedom of the media has said that the situation with journalists in Ukraine is unacceptable and that the, the organization is very concerned by repeated attacks on journalists, which really should be allowed to work freely in the country. And their safety must be ensured by all of those involved in the conflict.